Yo, and welcome back to Tales of Arc. And if you're enjoying the video, make sure you like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. But anyways, back to some Mabinogi Stardust, I believe. Yeah, because it's a side quest. But continuing on, last time we met Melwyn, who, look, when I met her, I thought she would be like, you know, those rude little girl, smart ass, or in this or in this point, one of those lolly hag, but I think she's just a young prodigy. So I was overestimating how rude she'd be, but no, she's just pretty not not really socializing much, unless it's for something she needs or something that interests her. It's what I think I'm trying to say. If that makes sense. If not, I don't know what to tell you. I'm terrible and I'm, well, I mean, I'm terrible at explaining things. Expe God damn it, can I talk correctly? Especially when I'm recording because I'm anxious. I'm not really that much of a social person. Social, social, social person myself, unless it's something I'm interested in. Like, I don't know, Gundams, Zoid, any mechs, really. But, um. So. Oh yeah, also, if you want to help me out, it would be nice if you could tell me how my audio is. Because I've been recording and I can never tell if it is this good? Is this too loud? Is my voice too squeaky? I mean, even though my voice cracks like every so now and then. But yeah, that will help really. So, continuing on, um, we got to talk to her again. Oh, Ursula, I've been waiting for you. Though I didn't expect you to arrive that quickly. Thanks to the help of our many sponsors, including myself, the Society has made good progress on several studies related to Stardust. There's new information as well. That voice crack. Remember in Solium when the Stardust clustered together in your hands? We're referring to that luminant, lum, luminescent mass as a Stardust core. Ever since it formed, it managed to stay together without any signs of the dissipation. The, transform, the transformative element, as it turns out, is its contact with you. I've been told the Alchemy Society went through many experiments before it reached this conclusion. Am I reading too slow? I'm trying to pace myself because I don't know why. When I tend to read normally, it's like... My brain and eyes is going ahead while, I'm, while my lips and is still reading like all the way back then. So then that's why I, I get tripped more often. I'm not sure if it's a normal thing or is it just me, but it's probably just me because like I can't even say that English is my native language, nor is it my other language because <laughs> I'm terrible in both apparently. But yeah, so I'm trying to pace myself in reading. I'm sorry. Also, the study discovered that the fading light lasted longer when the material you contributed as donation were used. Based on those findings, I thought of another possibility. If we had some sort of regulator that could bind and stabilize the core, perhaps it'd give others more freedom to handle Stardust. Of course, we still need your help with that, Ursula. In fact, we're planning to offer you the chance to be the first in the kingdom to wield the fruit of our completed Stardust research. Every academic society in Aliak, I don't know, is jointly involved in this study in one way or another. Many researchers are already hard at work preparing the components necessary for the regulators. Hmm, let's see. Where did I put that list? Oh, I have to click. I can't click anything else. Melwin pulls out a trim notebook and hands it to you. I'm still waiting on some items to be delivered, so I'm stuck here for the time being. Take a look at these donation listings and you see the names of some of our sponsors. There are actually a few who are helping us for some reasons unknown. It's possible they may have hidden agendas of some sort, I mean. Yeah, I would assume so. It's not like they're helping you out of their goodwill. I mean, they are. Most people want something returned. That's why my faith in humanity is oh, is so low that I'm like, Ugh, I don't know. Um, yeah, I regret that. Still, in times like these, 
we need to make savvy use of whatever resources are available. Yep, they're all assets in their own way. Don't you agree? Now, read over the information I just gave you and go pay our list of sponsor a visit. Tell them you come to collect the idols mail when requested and they should know what you mean. Anyway, good luck out there. I'll be waiting here for the del for the deliveries from the others. Well, Melwin pages through her ledger with a relaxed smile. You should take a look at the list of society sponsor before you do anything else. I hope it, I, ho I hope it doesn't involve me reading. I just sound like that one Looney Tune. Was it the pig? All right, so list of so, so ah. List a society sponsor. The many names of people who have made contrib contribution in support of the kingdom's academic royal society are listed here. Reference, uh, reference this list to see which people Melwin wants you to visit. You decide to take a closer look at the notebook of sponsorship Melwin gave you. As you open it, God damn it, shut up. As you open it, you see familiar names along the details of their donation, all penned in a neat legible script. You have to find all the sponsor from whom you're supposed to receive the Stardust regular parts. You quickly flip through the pages and skim over the list. Countess Ilun, Ilun, I don't know. Regular parts research funding. Initially donated finest silk, but changed to cast donation. Appears to be conscious of Duke Lazaro's patronage. Oh yeah, because they're like, aren't they like rival? Well. What's it? What's it called? Wine yard, vineyards. Aren't they like rival winemaking company brand? Whatever. Donation receive. Walter reforging tool. Has notified us of his intention to enroll in a regular sponsorship. The sponsor will personally deliver the donation to our Dumbarton storage site. Doran regular parts. Special parts to be inspected as per Alchemy Society recommendation. An issue has arisen recently regarding one of the four vates. Four vates? There are multiple vates? I, I, that's his name, right? The one vate alchemy dude? Does, does he have a name or is he just or he just goes by his label and title, Vate? Starlet Ace, right? Um Treasure Hunter and Cookie Guy. I don't know his name. I forgot what's it called. Edern, broadswords, supplies for royal guards providing assist assistance with the uh, society expedition. Note, use these instead of the <laughs> Turkinel sponsorship weapon. Donation received because Fergus is, is his is trash. How dare they make fun of Fergus. He has rippling muscles. Wait, no, isn't Edern shirtless too? Does he has bigger bulging muscles? They should have a muscle off, kind of like that full male alchemist brotherhood. You know when the two, um, I've got, not, it's not Mustang, it's Alex Louise, right? Was having a flex off with, um, what's her name's husband? Duke Lazaro, research expedition funding. Has agreed to sponsor costs related to field research, donation received. There's a crumble note stuck inside. Could it be Melwin? Bring Count meal, tea, and recovery potion from the manor's pantry beforehand. Remember to pack several antidote as well, just in case. Nessa. Find this uh, bandage. Bandage. Sponsor item related to first aid care. Also checks pet first aid kit. Donation received. Fergus. Fluted short sword. Dot, 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 dot. Follow up on whether he'd be willing to replace this donation with something else. They don't trust him so much. Damn it, Fergus. You have such a bad uh, reputation. You're so infamous blacksmith at this point. You should probably get better or, I don't know, dabble in something else. I mean, didn't he make our blonded gears? He does have some good points, aside from his muscles. Port Chamberlain Quarantine, regular parts. Sponsor has requested we offer a method of delivery that does not involve direct contact. Ideal to avoid any conflict between the Royal Society and the Pontiff Court. God damn, the Pontiff Court. So far in this game, the Pontiff Court hasn't been like, you know, like 
antagonists. I, I wouldn't call them evil. In Vindictus, they, they were pretty much evil. It's trying to summon that god, control that god, so then Morgan wouldn't come down so they can still keep their power. Either they brainwashed the royal family or not. No, they didn't because they executed them, right? And then Milo and Elise were the last two surviving. So, and then they want to finish them off so people wouldn't know. Uh, da, 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 da. But yeah, in this game so far, they haven't been... They've been pretty... You know, they've been pretty neutral. They haven't been out of here. Except for... Maybe some... But I'm, I feel like that's more the local priest in tier. That wasn't like the... That wasn't him in the pontiff court. The only time was in G2 is when they sent a spy to Emain so they can spy on Ezra's. Um, the spy, I forgot his name, James or something. He's still pretty cool. Him and Bat, the Batman um, Price. He's like this universe. He fought a god, fought Dark Knights. He's here and there. He, he appears out of nowhere. So far, he's the best. Um, where was I? Her serious deliberation has left the ink smudge in place, making some words difficult to read. Still, you're able to find a listing of everyone you need to visit. Reading over the list, you're left with the distinct impression that, for members of the Royal Society, there are certain people who may prove difficult to meet with directly for social political reason. Oh no. The politics. The first person you should visit is Doran of Tel... Telton? Alright, to Telton, unless you gave me a feather, which I doubt you did. The steam escaping from the fiery hot alchemy oh, ovens? I don't know why I thought Owens. From the hot alchemy ovens, dances around an elegant, elegantly, eh, can't read, dressed in older women. Or is it woman? Ah, now this is a pleasant surprise. What brings you here? Say that you came to get the item Melwin requested. You know, she's a pretty attractive grandma. Oh, is that it? Is that right? I was just thinking it was just about time someone came to pick it up. But I didn't expect that girl would send you to do it. She's smart as a whip, especially considering her age. Though the various academic society are all technically linked to the royal court. They still receive support and funding from a number of outside organizations. She must have taken into account how others might perceive the society based on their public interaction. Ursula, have you felt it? The flow of energy from Palala has shifted in recent days. Nope, I wouldn't even I couldn't even tell you. I just fought a literal dragon. So my mind is probably out there somewhere. Also, where Ori still out there is doing something. Isn't he like technically immortal too? Because he has what is it? Cuddlebug, Cuddle, Cala, Calabog, Calabug, whatever the sword Morgan gave him, Morgant gave him, he still has that sword too. I wonder if he went back to meet uh, Tarlac yet. Now that I have, uh, now that I, not that I have any special clarity on the matter, of course. At this moment, I know only as much as everyone else, but that doesn't mean I can give up on my effort to reach a greater understanding. My students feel the same way I do. That's why they're showing uh, great interest in the newly discovered Stardust. Unfortunately, it seems that their, de their theory failed to account for all variables. After pausing for a moment with her hands over her mouth, Doran hands you something that glitters with a faint white light. I was glad to find something to gainfully occupy my time, rather than sitting around bored. Here. This is what the Society of Astronomy entrusted to me. I have no doubt in the ability of my student, but seems they wish to rely on my judgment yet again. That newly found island identified core is unlike anything I've seen before. But to, but to one e e educated in the principle of alchemy, nothing is completely in incomprehensible. Ursula, I hope you can act just with the power that has been placed in your hands. Oh, that is, if this part I tinker away on actually does what it's supposed to do. With a reluctant look, Doran hands you the box containing the item. You retrieve the part the Alchemy Society entrusted to Doran. Next, you should visit Quarantine. 
quarantine at the Pontiff Court in Tara. Regulator part box. It's a cube. A woman clad in golden hue priestly vestment stands quietly near the altar. Her expression is thoughtful and rational, and you have no doubt she is fully capable of conveying the will of Limey Lark to all. Damn, she's pretty attractive too. Ah, welcome, Ursulith. May you bask in the love of Limey Lark. Is it Limey Lark or Limey Lark? I think it's Limey Lark, because Limey Lark sounds weird. Sounds like Lyme disease. <laughs> Limey Lark. What errands brings you here today? Say that you came to get the item Melwyn requested. I see. I heard that the Aulic Royal Society were trying to build some device to harness the power of the newly energy that discover. I feel like she'd probably say like, it's the power of God not enough? All you need is God's love. You need no other energy. But that's because I was watching Castlevania recently. However, I didn't realize that they had the uh, the illustrious the, the illustrious Malaysian running errands for them. I just today finished using the power of the Holy Flame to remove any strange energies still lingering within the parts we receive. Anyways, here are the parts we are given. Ursulith, according to the reports, the other components have been inspected by several other interested parties. I don't hope that this, mysteri this mysterious power will be treated with care and conscience, so as not to represent any unnecessary danger in the future. After all, history is replete with examples showing that what one does not know can still hurt. With examples showing that what one does does what one does not know can still hurt them. That's a tongue twister mouthful. What you have there is all we were granted. Seems the Royal Society plan was to entrust a portion of the whole to each of the organization they asked for existence. It's best to be conscious, since no one knows what kind of power lies within. I just pray that how do I pronounce it again? Limmy Lark will keep watch over us. If you have something uh, to say, please feel free to let me know. Huh, no, nah, that's pretty easy. Oh, Ursulith, you're back sooner than I expected. The other sponsor came and delivered the special parts for the regulator while you were away. This device is the brainchild of the Alchemy Society, though I become a bit paranoid about what they might concoct if I left if I left to their own if Oh, Concat if left to their own device and asked for other organizations to provide some oversight and assistance. If any uh, one organization had full authority over a power like this, I worry that it might be misused. Hmm, all that's left is to combine the parts now. Ursula, I think it would be best if you assembled them instead of me. I think you already know my reasoning on this point, correct? Because it won't uh, dissipate? For whatever reason, the Stardust is drawn to you. Our theory is that the Regulator will be able to control the core more easily if its parts have come into contact with you. Here, I'll give you the rest of the parts, so be careful when you put them together. And since you shouldn't need to reference the sponsor list for the time being, I'll go ahead and take that notebook off your hands. Melwin rummaged through in a nearby stack a few moments, hands you a box containing the rest of the parts. You should combine them with the ones you have. So, is this like handcrafting? I'm assuming it's handcrafting. Right? Mm. No. How do you combine them? Oh wait, do I just stack them? Oh, okay. I, I don't know why I tried to big brain it. All right, Stardust Regulator. Talk to Melwin. Ah, so you assemble all the pieces. Nicely done, in that case. Melwin carefully takes the Stardust Regulator from you. She then puts out a Stardust Core wrapped in soft cough and starts trying to fit it into the regular frame. Hmm, it doesn't fit very well, but then it was someone from the Alchemy Society who described the process to me. On the other hand, 
If it's being stubborn, maybe if I just apply a bit more force. Aha, there we go. With, with a satisfying a metallic click, the regulator latches snugly around the core. Oh, this is amazing. It doesn't even sting that much when I touch it with my bare hands. Just sort of tingles, like when your arms fall asleep. Oh, that numbness. You may not have felt anything when you touched it before, but some of the researcher who tried that fainted from experience. I'll bet the other members will be shocked to see this. I can already imagine them rushing to see how it works. There is one thing I'm curious about. Ursula, would you care to test it out? I'm interested in finding out what practical application this might have. My guess is that it'll just float or spin around you, but you never know until you try. After all, the best way to learn is hands-on approach, right? Definitely for me. Cause I'm a, what is it, kinetic learner compared to a visual learner? Here, you take this. Melwin smiles as she hands you the orb. The first thing you should probably do is make sure it's properly equipped. The starter rank is increased to 1. The last support effect has been unlocked. Null form Stardust. Mm, I just... What the hell is this? Is this like a skill? Chances to activate support attack when using a single target attack skill. Um, sure. What am I thinking of? Is it Gauntlet? Or is it kind of like, you know, when you have those hover pets in other games where they randomly attack once in a while, but it's not like that much damage. It's kind of like a little oomph, a little poke. Like some, um, just some tick, some chip damage. Is it kind of something like that? Do I have to feed it? Where do you equip it? Stardust Core fundamentally a cluster of condensed stellar energy that has been successfully stabilized for autonomous autonomous instinct. I don't know why I was thinking that. Operation using a propriety. Is it propriety? Proterity? I don't know. Propriety regulator developed by Alec Royal Society. Equip it to an exclusive slot to receive support effect during battle. Where? I don't understand increased level. What's this mean? Oh, well, I mean, it increases level, duh. What equip slot are they talking about? Am I missing something? Also, why is this? What equip slot? Oh, I'm an idiot. I should have just picked it up in the first place. I was left clicking it and it just kept popping this because you know how like when you left click it auto equips. So I was thinking it was like that, but no, you have to pick it up. I mean, oh, it would have been nice if they told me. So what's this one? Strange power in all form, which becomes available when you use this item. I don't know what. What does that mean? This looks cooler though. Oh, it's just like a one? No, it's like a two. No, that's his, right? No, that's mine. Huh. Weird. So it's like funnels, kind of. Gundam reference. Or it's a fangs or bits or whatever they call it these days. Smart missiles. Oh, ho. Oh. Well, well, well. Hmm, so that's how it moves. Melwin's eyes grows wide as she observes it, pacing all around you. The faint scent of bergamot seems to hang in the air around her. I hate to admit it, but the members of the Alchemy Society was right. It's definitely in orbit, with you serving as its central axis. Still, I and the other members of Society of Astronomy didn't spend nights locked in heated discussion just to create a pretty little curio that floats and twirls like some sort of magical pet rock see 
it needs to be tested more thoroughly. Put through its pace as it were, and to do that. The first thing we need to find out is how helpful this power can be. After all, with the power proper amplification, it may become an ace in the hole, capable of turning the tides of battle. Still, we need a brave, intrepid soul willing to risk life, limb, and possible expression to give our little Stardust Orb a rigorous field test. I wonder who might fit that bill. Who indeed? Or in, in case there was that, any doubt, that unwilling volunteer is you, Ursula. What? You weren't expecting me to come along, were you? As entertaining as that might be, I have too much to tend to here. All by myself? Just me? Just me? I'm afraid that, physically speaking, it will be too difficult for me to keep up with you. I mean, I can just put you on my dog and I can just walk on your adventure. You can probably tell just by looking at me, can't you? I'm lucky I even have enough stamina to tag along on a slow-paced field expedition. I can bridle carry you. So, Ursula, would you like to test your abilities to control the Stardust? As luck will have it, there have been numerous reports of Stardust core fragment recently discovered in the Shadow Realm. We've scientifically proven that this power is strong to you, and if you're equipped with a large concentration of Stardust already, you may be able to pull in those fragments with far greater ease. I told you, didn't I? You have the opportunity to be the first in the kingdom to use the intact Stardust. And of course, I always keep my promise. Anyways, I'll see you soon. Melwin smiles, though you can't help but notice the air of toe-tapping impatient that hangs around her, almost as though it's spelling, well, get on with it. For now, you should put the newly acquired Stardust to use in combat before you come back. You're sure that the only you're sure that only with hard data in hand will Melwin's eyes light up on, on your return. All right, so Shadow Realm Champion. What's that? Is that is that like a new mission? The hell, Sniper Wars. There are new missions. That voice crack. Protect Cora Valley. Shallow Round Champion. Oh, that's old. That's old. The smell of wine is new. Ooh, how hard is this gonna be? Hmm. Probably just do normal. Maybe it isn't that hard. I don't know. I guess I'll have to see. All right, funnels, help me out. I should probably still link. Summon monsters. Boss already? Oh, two. Okay, they're, maybe they're not boss. Maybe it's that, that equivalent of, you know, how when you go far enough, a normal boss becomes like a normal enemy. Is this just like a free-for-all? I'm guessing so. Because this is going down like how when you do spiders it's like how many you kill what the hell oh I forgot I had that spider thing on oh, so far so good I guess maybe I should have did harder difficulty oh god So they just keep spawning oh, until I get the kills, maybe, and then and there's like a phase. Cause I remember doing that one super difficult one in um Taltiana. Where you know like you have to like block the waves or something. Oh god, oh Jesus Christ! Oh I level, thank god. This dude just almost one shot me. If it wasn't for the deadly thing. Okay, maybe, maybe I was right to do basic. I feel like all the normal peons didn't hit hard, but then that dude, he just like ran, he was like a speeding train that just ran me over. Fireball crystal, cool. 
Back already, Ursulith? Oh, what's this? I never seen such a hard crystal. Hmm. It looks like I made the right call by sending you. Haha, <laughs> well then, I'll have to keep you in mind for future tasks. You may not realize it, but you just shown me a way to collect Stardust related materials far more efficiently. Even within the society, the primary focus of our research is to figure out a way to stabilize the Stardust core through the use of a regulator. Or, more accurately, a specialized regulator frame. If you, I, I feel like every time I read, sometimes my voice just die out when I try to pronounce words. If you can help us, Ursula, I'll deliver the necessary parts to you right away. I get the feeling that my assignment here in Dumbarton will be a bit more long term than I originally anticipated. I look forward to your continual support, Ursula. I'll be here waiting to warmly welcome any potential new sponsor, so feel free to stop by whenever you have any questions. I admit, it does get a little boring doing this all by myself. It would be most welcome if you were to stop by and check in often. Aww. Sure. I don't mind. You ended your conversation with Melwin. I wonder if that's how it's gonna be like with other NPCs. Like I wonder if they like Duncan, Crystal, Price, Tarlac. Who else? Um, the... I think it's the Aces or the Elites would be relevant in future story. And Raori. And the Gold Dragon. Who else was important? I feel like the story with Atracha and Tunis is over, probably. Because, like, the whole G7, G8 was about them and the Dragon political war. So, I guess I'll have to see in the future. But I'll probably just stop here. Alright, guys, so welcome back. Even though I just cut a while ago to an ending. Well, I'll probably cut out that ending, that outro for that video, and probably slip this in. So I've been waiting here for a while. I'm not sure if there's another quest. The wiki says there are two more quests, a cloudy sky and another one. But I'm not sure if that's like a extra side quest or is that like a quest quest? Cause I felt like, like at the end of the second quest, I didn't, feel, even though we unlocked it, Stardust and the um, funnels, it didn't feel like an ending ending. It kind of felt like, hey, you just learned to think now. It's like more story after that and then it's the end but i'm i'm not sure because i i'll probably wait a few days if i don't get any new quests then i guess this might be the end of this storyline for stardust if there is i might just add it do it like well it depends how short or how long the quest is if it's short i'll probably just keep it and then get into the second one and then add those two together and then make it a three-parter like I mean, including this, this will be part two. The next one will be part three, will be the final one. So if that does pop up later, I'll probably do that. If it doesn't, I'll probably just start on the next chapter, chapter three for um, Alchemist. So until then, for now, this might be the end of the start of the storyline. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. Stay safe. And I'll see you in chapter three.